Hi there, I'm Sonal Mehrotra Kapoor and in this video we're going to tell you the difference between monkey pox and chicken pox. It's that season when a lot of people and mostly kids end up getting chicken pox and a lot of parents are worried about whether or not this could be the more dangerous and lesser known uh, monkey pox or not. So let's, we thought let's sort of break down some symptoms, treatments and you know what are the isolation guidelines as well when it comes to these two diseases. Let's begin with the basics on chickenpox. Like I said, mostly found in kids. Mostly chickenpox comes uh, at an early stage in life and is seen with a rash and a fever emerging together. Cut to monkeypox, which has mostly been seen as a disease of the older people. However, having said that, there have been cases in UK, I think, where uh, monkeypox has been found in kids as well and there is little that we know so we'll have to keep exploring that but mostly it is transmitted and is spreading amongst adults. Let's talk about basic uh, sort of symptoms when it comes to both these diseases. Again, chickenpox first. It will start with a body ache, with a fever, with a rash. It can lead to headache, it can lead to appetite loss as well something very similar to what happens in monkey pox as well. The difference here is that when it comes to chicken pox, you will see the rash and fever appear on the same day. When it comes to monkey pox, you will see either a rash come in early or in certain cases it's been reported that a fever sets in first and a rash emerges in about three to four days later. So fever really is the first trigger of when you should start watching out for your symptoms. The other thing difference is the appearance of uh, the rash itself. Now when you look at the appearance of the rash, when it comes to chicken pox, it starts with what looks like a mosquito bite. From that it develops into slightly bigger uh, sort of rash where it will look like there's some fluid inside. It will become red later and then it will finally dry out and the scabs will fall out. That's the entire cycle of how the rash actually appears in chicken pox. Cut to monkey pox, where A, the rash will be slightly bigger. It will already appear looking like almost like a pimple with some fluid inside. It will grow bigger and it will start getting blackish before it actually falls off your skin. So remember, smallpox or mega uh, chicken pox starts with a mosquito bite, starts looking like a mosquito bite. But when it comes to monkey pox, it already looks like a pimple, like a small pimple that will expand. How long does it last? Let's look at that. So chicken pox will ultimately more or less last from 7 to 10 days. Monkey pox takes much longer. We've seen instances of 3 weeks. Some doctors also reporting in Brazil and Spain about 4 weeks of recovery time. Let's cut to how you can spread it and how long the spread can actually take place. Chicken pox, five days before the onset of the rash and five days after the disappearance of the rash, you can still give chicken pox to other people. Monkey pox, on the other hand, there is no such sort of before and after number here. It is mostly in the realm of 14 days or so that you can give it to people but doctors again not taking any risks because there's so little that we know about monkeypox are advising people to stay in isolation for at least three to four weeks for the entire period that you actually have uh, monkeypox. Uh, we talked about symptoms, we looked at how uh, the both the rashes are actually different, we talked about uh, how long it lasts, let's look at how it is treated now, all right. When it comes to treatment, chickenpox is has been there uh, for so long that we are pretty solid on how we approach it. Mostly happens with kids, like I said, and kids now, the minute they cross one year of age, between 13 to 15 months, there is a vaccine which can easily be given to everyone. So that's there. Apart from that, if they get uh, chickenpox earlier on, there is uh, antiviral oral medicine also that is readily available, uh, easily available in India and across the globe that can be given. Monkeypox, on the other hand, we know very little. We don't have a vaccine. The treatment mostly is symptomatic. That means that if you have a fever, they will try to curb your symptoms and ensure that the body actually recovers. There's a phrase that is used for monkeypox that means that it will lead to morbidity and not mortality, meaning it will make you weak. It will, uh, you will, 
you will feel uh, weak and you will feel like you you have an ailment but it does not necessarily take lives this is about monkey box remember having said that there of course have been instances reported across the globe of people losing their life to monkey pox these are rare instances doctors want to underline this again also saying that uh, it could be a case where people were immunocompromised and there were other things that actually took life first so there is no need to panic right there the other thing to know about uh, monkey pox and uh, chicken pox is the way the spread happens and this is very important to so listen to this carefully in chicken pox we know mostly that the fluid that forms inside your first mosquito bite and then when the fluid comes in that fluid exchange of it or transmitting that to anyone can lead to very easy spread of chicken pox however in monkey pox the spread is not that easy so far it has been found mostly to be transmitted sexually or in periods where a long term skin to skin contact has been seen some doctors again not verified by who but just observations which have been made by doctors across the globe looking at it have said that at least 2 hours of skin to skin contact actually leads to spread of monkey pox so while chicken pox is easily spreadable that's why isolation in chicken pox is not really required because mostly parents or adults in the house have already got it or they have a vaccine in monkey pox since we know so little isolation is very very strict and that's why you have hospitals across the country being told to take it very seriously and wards being dedicated only for monkey pox the other question that gets asked very often is that can you get it again covid really has scared us all on that front hasn't it on getting it 3 4 5 times well in chicken pox you get it once you i'd be never get it again and in except in very very rare cases and when it comes to uh, monkey pox we simply do not know it's too early in the life cycle of the virus to understand whether or not this can actually appear again or not so that's something we don't know the other thing that often gets asked is about the seasonality of the virus i remember in covid we talked about how it was spreading uh, it was also airborne i mean it was spreading through uh, air particles and that's why again seasonality was a crucial thing chicken pox seasonality is a case every time the weather changes that you see more cases of chicken pox and monkey pox we don't know at the moment is spreading across the globe or uh, between adults and there is no relation that has been found just yet and i keep saying that because there's so little we know uh, just yet to whether or not it has any seasonal influence so that's pretty much on what we know about the differences between chicken pox and small pox remember all these symptoms that we've talked about are very similar to a flu which again is something that spreads this time of the year so be careful be vigilant whenever you see a small rash or mosquito bite spreading more than one or two don't panic talk to your doctor tell them what exactly is happening and there is a very strict and clear protocol for both of them so you need not worry and for more such updates if you have more questions please post it down in the comments below we'll try and answer that if you have any other queries about monkey pox or chicken pox or any other disease or any other issue you would like us to take on money control do send that in the in the comment section again And meanwhile don't forget to like share and subscribe this video see you on youtube in some time